In 2024, the BRICS nations have made significant strides in the development and implementation of central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. These efforts are part of a broader strategy to enhance their financial autonomy and reduce dependency on the U.S. dollar for global trade. Each BRICS nation is at various stages of CBDC exploration and deployment which we discuss in this video. China's Digital Yuan, also known as ECNY, is leading the global race in CBDCs, significantly expanding its pilot to include cross-border transactions and optimizations for international tourists. As of 2024, the Digital Yuan pilot has reached impressive scales, with 260 million wallets across 25 cities, and new initiatives are focusing on broadening its usability for overseas tourists and its application in cross-border settings. One key development is the pilot program between China and Singapore, allowing tourists from both countries to use ECNY for transactions during their travels in either country. This initiative aims to simplify payments, minimize risks associated with currency exchange rate fluctuations, and enhance the tourist shopping experience. Additionally, China is exploring similar expansions in other regions, including the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, the United Arab Emirates, UAE, and Thailand through the international CBDC initiative known as M-Bridge. This project tests a multi-CBDC platform for wholesale cross-border payments, highlighting China's strategic push to integrate ECNY into global financial transactions more seamlessly. India is making significant progress in the development and implementation of its central bank digital currency, CBDC, known as the Irupi. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, launched two CBDC pilots in late 2022. The first pilot targeted wholesale transactions among banks, starting on November 1, 2022, with nine banks participating. The second, a retail CBDC pilot, commenced on December 1, 2022, in four cities, Mumbai, New Delhi, Bengaluru, and Bhubaneswar, and later expanded to include 15 cities and over 50,000 customers and 10,000 merchants. This retail pilot aims to facilitate direct transactions between individuals and businesses using the digital currency in day-to-day -day transactions. In 2024, the RBI is focused on expanding the capabilities of the eRUP to include programmability and offline functionalities. Programmability allows for the CBDC to be used for specific purposes such as enabling businesses to set aside funds for designated expenses like travel. Offline functionality is critical for ensuring the CBDC is accessible in areas with limited internet connectivity, and this feature is being tested to ensure robustness across diverse geographical locations, including mountainous regions. Moreover, the RBI has set ambitious targets to increase user engagement with the ERP. They are aiming to reach 1 million users within the first few months of the expanded pilot phases, demonstrating a strong commitment to integrating the digital currency into everyday financial activities of its citizens. These developments are part of India's broader strategy to enhance its digital economy and provide more inclusive financial services through the adoption of advanced digital solutions in its monetary systems. As these pilots progress, India is poised to learn and possibly scale up these initiatives, potentially leading to a wider rollout of the Irupi as a mainstream financial instrument in the near future. If you're finding the video helpful so far, we'd really appreciate a quick thumbs up. Also, we're eager to hear your perspectives on how CBDC influencing the global economy. So, please drop us a comment below with your insights. Thanks for your support. Russia is actively engaged in developing cross-border wholesale central bank digital currencies, CBCs, as part of its broader financial strategy. These initiatives are designed to facilitate more efficient and cost-effective international transactions, bypassing traditional financial systems, and potentially mitigating the impact of international sanctions. One of the notable projects Russia is involved in is the M-Bridge project, which aims to enhance cross-border CBDC operations and is set to expand to additional countries. This project is part of a collaborative effort under the BRICS consortium, which includes Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, aiming to explore and implement an alternative payment system to the dominant use of the U.S. dollar in global trade. Russian lawmakers have expressed a strong preference for the adoption of a wholesale rather than retail CBDC model, primarily for cross-border settlements. This focus is strategic, aiming to leverage CBDCs for enhancing the flexibility and efficiency of international payments within the Eurasian Economic Union and beyond. 
Additionally, the year 2024 is expected to be pivotal for Russia in terms of advancements in CBDCs and other digital financial assets for cross-border payments. The country is looking to implement technical solutions that would allow for the use of digital rubles and potentially other digital assets in international transactions, with a particular focus on collaborations with China and other BRICS countries. These developments indicate Russia's commitment to integrating digital currency solutions into its financial infrastructure, enhancing its ability to conduct transactions on a global scale while navigating geopolitical challenges. In the Middle East, the United Arab Emirates, or UAE, is not staying behind in the global digital currency race. The UAE Central Bank has advanced the implementation of their own central bank digital currency, CBDC, known as the Digital Dirham. This initiative is part of a larger financial infrastructure transformation, FIT, program, with the first phase of the CBDC strategy expected to be completed by mid-2024. The Digital Dirham's key objectives include enhancing both domestic and cross-border payments, promoting financial inclusion, and fostering a transition towards a cashless society. The strategy is structured around three main pillars, the first being the launch of M-Bridge for International Trade, a platform designed to streamline real-time, cost-effective cross-border CBDC transactions. The second pillar involves proof-of-concept work for bilateral CBDC bridges with other countries, such as India. And finally, the third pillar comprises trials for domestic CBDC issuance, covering both wholesale and retail usage. In an effort to improve cross-border payment processes, the Embridge project uses Distributed Ledger Technology, DLT. This technology aims to reduce costs, increase speed and transparency, and enhance overall efficiency. Early results from the M-Bridge project have shown significant improvements in transfer speeds, transforming transactions from taking days to mere seconds. In a broader sense, these initiatives are part of the UAE's efforts to position itself as a leading global financial hub and to integrate advanced digital solutions into its financial system. Additionally, the BRICS countries, including the UAE, are considering the adoption of a stablecoin, a type of digital currency that is pegged to a stable asset like a national currency or a basket of currencies. This initiative is seen as a means to bypass the complexities and fees associated with traditional cross-border payments, further strengthening the UAE's position in the global financial landscape. In the heart of the Arabian Peninsula, Saudi Arabia is on the move, actively exploring the implementation of a central bank digital currency, CBC. Saudi Arabia's central bank, known as SAMA, is currently in the experimental phase of this CBDC project. SAMA is working in close collaboration with local banks and fintech companies to understand and develop the necessary framework for a CBDC. This initiative aligns with Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, which aims to enhance digital infrastructure and transition towards a more digital economy. But the ambitions of Saudi Arabia don't stop at their borders. They have engaged in a joint project with the United Arab Emirates, dubbed Project Aber. This project delved into the use of distributed ledger technology for cross-border payments between the two nations. The results were promising, demonstrating the technical viability and potential benefits of CBDCs for improving payment systems and supporting economic integration. While Saudi Arabia has not yet made an official commitment to launching a CBDC, their ongoing research and experimentation signify a strong interest in leveraging digital currency to modernize its financial systems and streamline economic transactions. This proactive approach positions Saudi Arabia as a potential player in the global digital currency landscape, ready to harness the potential of CBDCs in the near future. In the Middle Eastern region's digital currency landscape, Iran is a country that cannot be overlooked. The nation is diligently working on its own central bank digital currency, or CBDC, dubbed the Crypto Rial. This endeavor is part of a broader strategy by Iran to increase financial inclusion and incorporate digital technology into its financial infrastructure. The Central Bank of Iran, the CBI, is leading this project, utilizing a blockchain platform called Borna, constructed with Hyperledger Fabric Technology. The Crypto Rial is an attempt to modernize Iran's financial system, offering a digital currency that could simplify transactions and potentially reduce the costs associated with physical money. The platform is designed as a permissioned ledger, restricting participation in the network mainly to approved financial institutions. This arrangement could lead to increased transparency and operational efficiency, but it also raises concerns about privacy and centralization. 
Although the CBI has initiated a pilot for the crypto rial, the digital currency is still in its infancy. The Iranian government sees this project as a potential tool for circumventing international sanctions and for promoting domestic and international trade under more controlled conditions. The development of the crypto rial underlines Iran's commitment to embracing the digital revolution and signifies its potential role in the global CBDC landscape. Beyond the individual plans of the BRICS countries, the group is also developing a blockchain-based payment system to support these initiatives. This system is designed to be independent, aiming to enhance the BRICS nation's impact on global financial and monetary systems while reducing their reliance on the U.S. dollar. Overall, these developments reflect a significant push by the BRICS bloc towards creating a more integrated and sovereign financial infrastructure using advanced digital technologies. The collective move towards CBECs could have substantial geopolitical and economic implications, potentially reshaping international trade and financial transactions. That's it for this video and we hope you found it insightful. We're eager to hear from you, so please share your thoughts in the comment section on the impact of CBDC in your daily life. Do you think it can be any good for the ordinary citizen? Your insights enrich our conversation. Thank you for watching.